Oh, we are live. All right, we are live. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Sorry, we had a little technical problems there. I had to restart the stream real quick. So, if you guys are wondering what the hell's going on, that's what's going on. <laughs> so, but anyways, this episode is about Hunter x Hunter. You know, uh, my second uh, longest anime. <laughs> I, was, I don't know where it would be in my top five, but we're talking just longest anime. It's yeah. my second favorite longest anime. Um. We got Pack a Bunch here. He took a nice Consider little nap. <laughs> you know, some people think five episodes or ten episodes is long. I I, I consider over a hundred episodes to be long. Okay. That's that's my consideration, yeah, I guess. Okay. So, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. what are you eating? The Doritos. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, I'm not sponsored. So I'm yeah, not I was gonna say we're not sponsored. Not <laughs> I'm definitely not showing you. <laughs> They look good though. Exactly. We're not sponsored, so we're not showing the Doritos. That's false advertisement. Yeah. Uh, so, anyways, I'm oldish twenty two. If this is you guys' first time watching the Taco Town, all we do here is we talk anime. We just pick an anime topic and then we talk about it. Could be yeah, and a, we argue about it too. And we argue. <laughs> yeah. I'm just joking. Uh, yeah, we're not too bad, but um, it could be like a certain anime. It could be an anime like like topic. It could be uh. An anime fight debate. It could be anything, pretty much. So if you guys are new to the Taco Town, uh, that's just what we do here. Uh, like tonight's episode is gonna be about Hunter X Hunter, and yeah, that's what we're gonna talk about. So spoilers. If you have not watched Hunter X Hunter, I uh, should 2011 version, way better than the uh, yeah, first yeah. uh, version. So, um, so yeah, highly recommend watching the 2011 version if you haven't, and get caught up. So. Hopefully we will get you know a second part, but we all know we all know the other name of this uh, show here, hiatus x hiatus, uh, which is sad, but yeah, whatever it is, what it is. <laughs> but anyways, uh, what well, we... among it's hiatus, you know, yeah. anime is just like at least they took a break, you know, while. you know, at least they in anime, to... no, they they haven't took a... <laughs> they're not coming, <laughs> they're not coming back anytime soon. No, probably not for a long time. But this, this is not even a rumor. <laughs> like, there's no rumors out. It's like it's a complete dry spill. But at least they had like a certain spot where they could stop. Where if they do want to pick it up, yeah, then they got they it. They can continue. Yeah, but it's, it's gonna be a long ass time. Let's be honest. It'll be a long ass time. We might have to wait a decade. <laughs> <laughs> it might be over by then. Maybe. Maybe. Um. Yeah, I think it'll be over. Should Within be. a decade, easy, but um, I think it may end in two, two, three years, maybe even sooner than two years, because Togashi's held his fucking plummeting. He's a like, boom, <laughs> and he's what he's probably gonna do is just um, he may write it, write this shit off. Is this is not confirmed? This is just com- like speculation. It's just completely speculation. There's no truth to that. What I'm literally saying right now. So don't take it for verbatim, but. If my health was de- was declining and I had a show that I was working on and I can't really keep up with it and I'm trying to finish it or even try to continue, I would try to probably wrap it up. Yeah. As fast as possible. Me, like, you know, it's just how certain things work. I That's how I would probably do it if I was right. I was like, fuck. It's like, man, I don't know how long I could do this, man. My health is suffering. My hand, back, I'm, I'm oh, yeah, sick man. all the time. It's just like, oh, fuck it. Well. Let me try to wrap this shit up as cleanly as possible because I only I can't take this for another five years. Keep doing this. So, um, there's there's just speculation though. It's not true. So he could just be like, "Fuck it, I'm doing a five year. I'm I'm finishing the story like I originally planned exactly how everything yeah. was going to go, or something's different in the beginning. In the beginning, and you know." Things happen. So this man, um, this man has a great like style, like especially because he made Yu Yu Hakusho, which is also amazing <laughs> anime as well. Yeah, it's a very amazing anime. So he's got two, two big ones. So <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you guys though. Tagashi's um his art is is kind of lacking when it comes to others, but either way, it, he still produces really good work. Yeah, a lot of. It's not all. It's not always about strength with him. Yeah, it can be ability to perceive, and somebody can have a really interesting ability and get you trapped in it, and basically that can beat you. 
Yeah, and that's one of the things I actually want to talk about. Like, it's interesting with Hunter x Hunter because they have that. I feel to me, it feels like one of the most I don't know strategic in a way for anime. I don't know. It's got a different feel to it than other animes when it comes to their fighting for some reason. I don't know how you feel about it, but just the way. Yeah, they, most uh, definitely. Like, um, they still go off that, go after that kind of strength kind of thing where. Yeah, it's like, oh, measured in a way. Yeah, like my my aura, aka my nin, is fucking way higher than yours. There's almost, you know, there's almost no way you could beat me. But there's a certain way if you have a certain ability. Yeah, that can that can you know you can outsmart your opponent and beat them at their own game. Um, your nin can be used against you, as we've seen with um, I forgot what's his name, the guy who had the bomb. It's like, oh, you just got to oh, reach yeah, yeah. the time limit. It may take forever, but as soon as that shit goes off, you're fucking, you fucking lost. Like, it's, it's, it's like an OTK, but that OTK is so fucking hard to pull off. So, um, it's kind of ridiculous. But, uh, at the end of the day, it's, um, it's a very interesting to see kind of anime in a sense. Yeah, for sure. Especially a great example is like, the the ant arc there itself i mean how underpowered they were and what the strategy they had to do to execute what they wanted to do like uh right before they go like in you know like their plan and it's weird how the time thing works because like only like a minute goes by or whatever even though it's been like i think five episodes or something like that well, that, that's that's common in anime. No, in general, no, it's just like, it's just kind of funny because there's just so much going on and they're doing it so fast. It's yeah, just, they're doing everything fast. They're trying to show every a lot of perspectives at that time, yeah. and you know that's that's just anime in general. To be honest, with you. yeah. Like, um, I know, for an just, example, know. like how would you you can't really perceive ten different things going on at one time, but like in one screen. Imagine if you had that all in one screen, you'd be like, I'm completely lost. <laughs> It it's just a sense of like direction the author's trying to put um try to convey at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. Dragon Ball does it. Yeah, Dra- Dragon Ball lot. does it. Naruto, it. Naruto does it. It's like fuck. Like it's been like thirty fucking. It's like it's been almost two hundred episodes. It's like yeah. It's this is all happening literally within like probably three days. Mm-hmm. This whole this whole war shit or this the beginning. Oh, well, the, you know, does not, it too. Not, yeah. This one, one was does it. This one was just surprising because it was like only one minute has gone by. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's like, oh, shit. Like, it's I'm, like, I, oh, I'm shit. used to like maybe a couple, like 10 minutes, whatever, 15 minutes. But like one minute went by. I was like, holy fuck. But it's so many characters at one time. It's how they all entered the the building to go attack the base and shit like that. Yeah. And what they were doing, what their matchups right away and what was going on. So I understand. I was just kind of like, oh, that was only one minute. Oh, shit. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So who who's your favorite character in this uh series? Uh hmm. It is I think it would probably I don't know, it's kinda of hard. I really do like Gon and I really do like Kilua. But I might I might have to I like Kilua a little bit more. Yeah. And it's pretty close with these. It usually usually I like the not the main sometimes I'm not trying to be favored or anything, but usually I like the the um <clears throat> the Sega protagonist um a little bit more like Kilua. Um I was like Naruto and Sasuke kind of shit. But yeah. you know, it's um Gon is not he's really interesting because he's he's hilarious, but yeah. you know, yeah, instead of he, yeah, he is kind of dumb because he kinda is a little bit kind of he kind of has a, a luffy ish way okay i can't I, I really can't say he's dumb dumb i mean like no it's not dumb dumb but he's kind of he has he has a he has a different spirit. way of yeah he has a different way of looking at life yeah that's what i can say he has a completely different outlook he's I, like oh i can do this and everyone's like oh i didn't know and he has an easier time on grasping grasping concepts and it's also because they're a they're also kids, and they're somewhat prodigies, mm-hmm. both of them. So, um, uh, I probably would choose Kilua. The only reason is, I like, Gon is really interesting, especially the way he handles certain situations, especially during the Chimera arc. 
Mm-hmm. But um, that was like, ooh. But Kilo always has that that backstory. Gone has has backstory too, but Kilo had that backstory. It's just they're just really close for me. Uh, they're pretty much a tie. Like I can't really have one without the other, kind of thing. Like Kilo has the Kilo has the dark, gloomy past. Where you and how he can pers- like how can I explain it? Like his his family just make like oh you should do this kind of shit and it's kind of forcing and then you kind of feel bad. It's like god damn like yeah Kilo's they're cool. all forcing Kilo to do one thing and. Gone is like, nah, that's my friend. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to help him out. It's like, oh. So and then, you know, Kilo was like, really loves being around Gone. And he how brightens his day. And it makes it's, it makes the it makes Kilo his best Kilo that he perceives. And the fun Kilo, not the one who's literally brain dead and killing killing people most of the yeah. time. It's, it's like psycho mode <laughs> or whatever you want to call it it's like oh know. it's like you know it's like what do you it's like fucking get the needles and stab you off bitch <laughs> uh, so, like that old man playing that uh ball game with them and he's yeah, yeah. Mad. <laughs> so and god had a different uh, perspective on looking on the game and that's why he <laughs> you know what i'm saying almost almost when it was very interesting for the um metro yeah um it's pretty good I, I usually don't pick main characters, but for this one, I like, I don't know, I got like attached with Gon in this one a lot. So Gon is my favorite character in this one. Um, I don't know, I just like his personality, um, the way he is, the way he fights and everything. I like his whole, the rock, paper, scissors uh, aspect of his abilities. I think it's really cool. <laughs> so- <laughs> yeah, I really, I really, do, I like that. Um. I just, I just like the way he is, uh, especially the whole thing with the kite there and everything, how he took that and his response to that, you know, that's actually one of my like favorite parts in that, uh, anime, which we'll probably talk here a little bit later about it, but, uh, gone would definitely be my favorite if I had to maybe give you a top three, I would actually say Hizaka and then probably kite. I liked kite a lot as well um unfortunately we know what happens <laughs> it's okay uh, it's Isoka, by the way <laughs> it's Isoka, uh, not Isaka. I, <laughs> it's not Saka from freaking um or, or was Avatar. It? um what's no, his no, name joking was it is it Hisoka. how do you say Hizoka? Hizoka. oh i call like, him like h i is he Hizoka, so, yeah make more with the o, okay so like so in kai his, yeah is zoka there we go butcher his name for you. you you gotta work you gotta work on that a little bit <laughs> it's okay what's english um anyways but anyways yeah so he's probably he's my second i just like i like his uh always looking for the challenger that kind of personality so he's looking for the strongest person to fight which that's mostly his personality except for, well he's got a little like odd personality as well like he just he likes the the thrill of the fight a little too much, um, <laughs> so, um, what is uh your favorite arc in uh Hunter X Hunter? Um, what is my favorite arc? I can't. I'm a, mm, I don't know. I really like the green arc. That was a really fun arc. But I got also serious. Hmm. The Kamehameha arc is good, too. Oh, man. I just... I don't know. I, there's a few good ones in here, for sure. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I was surprised. Like, probably probably Kamehameha arc, but... You know, Green Arc was really good for me. I really enjoyed it. The video, Like, who could think that a video game aspect of... Of um, Hunter x Hunter and playing the game... Actually, gets fun, and they they had to fight. They had to play the game completely different. Not the not from what the purpose of the game, but from the sense of um, like they can't just be going around and just um. <clears throat> how can I explain it? Like, 
they can't really be going doing their usual kind of thing because they can be caught and sometimes they can they they have more consequences to for their actions. They had to basically they they basically had to play a whole new strategy, which yes, on a whole bunch of arcs do that because you know that's how the arcs work. But collecting the cards, you know, it's like playing a completely RPG. Yeah, it's like collecting cards, um, unlocking the freaking moments like things, going through like people who are trying to kill them, um, also training because um. They need to be stronger and understand what the abilities of Nen are and um, what attributes to them and what, well, how can they develop their fight style based on that ability? Um, yes, they, they kind of have, but they play, they're doing it another advanced level of it. Um, uh, I felt like probably the maybe why I like the Greed Arc so much is probably because. That's where they made the first big gain in, in advancing their net abilities. Yeah. Not saying that they, they did it in the other arcs, but that's where I felt like they made the big game. They were like, oh, shit, we're this weak compared to everybody else. Holy shit. But there, yes, Kiloa is strong because he has assassination abilities and gone. I'm going to wait shit out forever in the fucking bush. <laughs> but regardless of that, um, I thought Stealth. that's when they really realized, oh shit, there's this this is a whole different ball game we're playing here. Mm-hmm. And then of course that leads to Kamara arc, and then Kamara arc was just like, boom, like so much training. Yeah, you, you gotta learn this. So yeah. I I think pretty much those are two my two of my favorite artists. I can't really, I can I can't really choose between those two to be honest with you. Yeah, that's that's pretty tough because it those are really good. The one that like got me hooked on the show. Uh, would be um, I don't know, I don't even know what the arc is called. Uh, but the Phantom, f- Phantom, Phantom trope. Yeah, when they come in okay. the first time, I was like, "Holy shit, these guys here are freaking insane!" You know, they're the whole uh, when they're going in the is it the auction? Was it an auction? Yeah, I'm trying to remember, it's been a while. It was an auction. Yeah, and they fucking just come in and like taking out everybody. I'm like, "Holy shit!" And <laughs> I like that we got to see uh, Killa's dad and grandpa fight uh what was his name Corolla. is it yeah crawl yeah that was cool yeah. that was cool to see in that arc as well but that arc got me like hardcore hook on hunter x hunter like i liked hunter x hunter until i got to this it's kind of like one piece where one piece i got all the way to water seven and his lobby i was i fell in love with one piece this is the same thing as hunter x hunter that was the arc that got me hooked and then uh, the chimera arc is my favorite um just because I, I love how it, like, uh, sets up. Like, I'm not going to lie. The whole, like, kite episode. Like, when that shit happened to him. Um, when, uh, what's her name there? The cat lady. Uh, comes in the picture. Um, oh, she, yeah. Um, the first time. Like, she's the first one. I can't remember. It starts with a P. It's, it's, I, I'm probably going to butcher it if I say it. Pito. Pito, yeah. Pito. Beto, when she comes in, on my lives, I remember sitting on my couch, and when she comes in, first time when Kite's like, run, gone, and kill, you know, whatever. Yeah, and right. That, yeah! that freaking episode. I know. Is like... like, I was like, I was like, I was nervous for him. Like, I was like, oh, shit. Like, Kite's pretty damn strong, and these guys are on, like, a whole new level. <laughs> like, holy fuck. I still whole remember that episode. He didn't even fucking stand in chairs. <laughs> no, dude, no, no. I did. I love his ability, though. His um, uh, the weapon there where he is. I think ten weapons, and he has to, like a roll or whatever. Mm-hmm. He has to like roll or whatever, and it <clears throat> gives him the weapon that he has to use at a time. <laughs> I think at that time he's like, oh, I don't think this is the best roll for me here. <laughs> or whatever. He can even die, and he <laughs> then that's his um lucky. <clears throat> what is that? His lucky number ten yeah. or whatever. I forgot. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that I just remember that episode. I was like, holy shit! Like it was so intense. Um, with that one, and then obviously uh, the the gone transformation scene is like probably by far one of my all time favorite transformation scenes. The music and everything, and just like the meaning of it and everything, what he did, it was it was so badass when he did that. So that's probably one of my. It got real. Speak about. 
speaking about transformations and the scene, like one of my favorite scenes was like when um when they were like gone, you gotta show us. He's like, you gotta um try to fight me or whatever for this what whatever time it was. I, I don't even remember the scene exactly. Is that when they're training? It was with the it was it was an um it was a smoke dude who was, who was oh, yeah, smoking. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know what you're talking about now. Yeah. yeah, and he was like, he was like, ah, fucking power up his name and everything. The guys yeah. that gun is like, he's like, you, oh, I know what it was. He's like, oh, attacking you seriously. He's, yeah. like, he's like, and then gun was like, all right. Kilo was like, go ahead. It's okay, Doc. Um, go and do it. God. He, he just put everything to his fucking jacket. Too. And he's like, what the fuck? This kid was really trying to kill me. He's like, oh, sorry, I got a little carry away. Uh, I was really trying to. I was like, oh, I think if I would have continued, I probably would. I may have continued. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if that that was exactly said, but yeah, that's what it kind of implied. Or in that at that time, and and, and when you saw that, it was just like, ooh, oh, if he can do that to his friend, like if he can do that to his friend, his ally, and the only person to calm him down was Kilua, like. Boy. There's only, there's only, there's only so much you could see. Like, it, you would be crazy to see what happened when he actually made Pito, and that's what happened. Like, yeah. he couldn't, he, I mean, he yeah, couldn't he even hold himself. Together, his dark like, side there for sure. <laughs> like it was no one, no holding up there. Uh, but that I love that transformation scene. I still remember the music. I still remember seeing it the first time. I'm like, holy shit! Like. Pinto, she deserves what she she gets. All right. <laughs> so, like, oh, so shit, man, shit. it was this great. I just love it because like the whole build up was like excellent for it, and Gon finally got the show. Like you know, is true. You know, like where he can go. <laughs> so it was nice to see and a nice. It was just a great scene, a great episode. And yeah, I, I don't know. I just I love that uh, whole thing about it. Um. But yeah, that's another thing about this anime that surprised me when I very first watched it was uh, when I started it, it was kind of not like so darkish, like because it, it did get really dark later on. So that it surprised me how dark it got actually, because there's a few scenes that are that are pretty uh, dark, especially with the Chimera arc where in the what is it those giant ass ants are going in and killing like the humans and. Uh, was those yeah. two those two characters from uh the beginning there from the hunter exam the one with the oh she did the she shot like the needles or whatever or something she had the bee the honey bee thing can't remember but she got pretty much messed up i think she got transformed or something like that something happened to her got eaten i can't remember the the ants did i can't there. remember <laughs> it's been a while but um but yeah, I was just, I was really shocked like how dark it got and yeah, it got pretty it got pretty real. Especially like the the one arc that got me hooked. The that one was pretty dark. Remember the girl with the vacuum sucking up everybody? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I can up. use this now. Let's, <laughs> let's clean up this uh seed here. My vacuum is going to eat all of you. Uh which I do like uh I don't know his name, but out of the the phantom uh the spiders there. Uh, the dude that kind of like hides half his face kind of reminds me of Sasuke a little bit and he uh, he actually fights one of uh, the ants, I know the ants which was a pretty cool fight too um, he had to get like serious or whatever too damn I don't know his name but anyways I like him probably one of the most out of the, the Torque group and I did like uh, I think oh. it's I don't know. Feton. Okay, yeah. I do like the arc also with the the torque. I'm trying to remember the timeline between that. Is that when uh is that when Killa gets taken? I can't remember. Someone got taken. What? Um uh, I remember the big nose girl with the pistol and that and they take one of the um as a rescue mission. The torque uh part of the torque group had him. Can't remember if it was Killa got caught. Where they roped up and they were making a plan to go rescue him. Oh man, mm. it's just coming back to me right now. So I'm trying to remember. <laughs> so, but anyways, I like that part too because that was like another, like scary scene for him. Because again, they were underpowered, 
So, um, so can we talk about Mini Cell a little bit? Do you know who Mini Cell is? Who Mini? Oh, Merrim. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You just I call him Mini Cell because this is what he reminds me of. But he's he's a lot to me. He's a lot better character uh, than Cell. No offense to DBZ fans, but. He's just a very interesting, uh, interesting character, uh, for sure. Uh, I like how it's like smart he is, except for he can't beat that little girl in that game. I'm telling you, <laughs> try it. Try. So he's like, he's like, I like eating brains, 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 oh my brains. Da, na, 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 na. You ever listen to that song from? Um, I forgot what song was. Where that was? Where is that song from? Brains. Um, but like, um, so. it's from Billy and Mandy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Brains, brains, I love brains. That's basically what Miriam was. Yeah, <laughs> like, he much. just loved eating brains. He's like, I like brains, I want to eat brains so I, I can get more powerful. The mad, imagine if he ate more, like, <laughs> imagine if he ate Hisoka's brain. Imagine if he ate like Nitro's brain. Imagine if he got ate them shits. That shit would have been crazy. Like, well, dude, he was crazy OP as it was. <clears throat> he really was, but imagine. Which kind of like brings a question up for like later in the series. I don't read the manga. I haven't read the manga. I, I might, depending on how long it takes to get a more anime. <laughs> but um, the question that comes up to my mind is like those the yeah, whole karma know, arc, man. like how strong they were, like how like because when Gon transform transforms, he gets. They, I think she said that he goes almost to the king's level, which is Miriam's level at that time. So I'm kind of well, curious, like, how far is this power up stuff going to go? You know, are we, is like the karma arc, is that going to be like base later? Like, is that going to be like normal power up level? I don't know. Like, uh, well, 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 the thing is, gone. What he did is he unlocked his potential when, when going into that. Yeah. Mode. He, he, he kind of like, it's like he stopped his growth. Yeah. Because of that. It's just weird because the, these guys were so much more powerful than uh, the old man there that's been training his whole life. Like, and he finally gets a challenge or whatever when he fights them. Obviously, we know, you know, doesn't go very well for him. I mean, it does a little bit, but not not really. I mean, it's pretty one sided. What was going on with Miram there once he figured him out and doing his what thou, was a thousand hand uh, technique there, the the golden statue, yeah. or which is a really cool fight. Um. But, like, he, this guy's been training his whole life, being the headmaster and stuff, and he finally gets a challenge, so it's like... So, and these guys are way beyond them, so I'm kind of curious, like, where everyone's power is going <clears> to <throat> go. Because, obviously, Gon can get to that potential, I, and Killa, I imagine, will follow, and... I don't know, I Yeah, because that's, you know, that's only growth of the character. Yeah. And, but, um... We don't know what the other guys really... At least I don't. you I'm pretty sure you're reading the manga, so you know more than I do. I don't know how far, yeah, how much but, further they um, are. For ge- for just general purposes, you know, anybody can really reach their potential over time. You know, yeah. I mean, like we reach their how powerful the show was. Everyone was going to because, um, you know, they're little kids. That's the whole thing with them. They're already grasping concepts that old adults and you know young men or young women are been training almost their whole life for, and they're doing excellently. Yeah. Even their master even says, they're like, oh my god, they're freaking gems. They're freaking, no, they're diamonds. And it's like, oh my god, they have such open mind. They're such, they're so great. And they're so open. Well, <laughs> they're a little bit stubborn, but they they are prodigies in that sense. Yeah. Because they can grasp concepts. And that, that would make sense. Like, even to a little bit of real life, you know, how younger kids can understand most of the yeah, time yeah, understand languages and faster, yeah. the learning curve is much easier for them <clears throat> because you know it's the human trait man adult, passing knowledge yeah it's like oh you you know you get a little kind of reminds since you say that kind of reminds me of like uh pretty much like goten from dbz goten reached super saiyan i remember goku saying if i had like your power at that time because he didn't reach super saiyan until he was an adult so and Goten's yeah. Super Saiyan right now as a kid. So he's like, 
if I had Damn. your power at that yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> you know. But that that's that Super Saiyan thing was a little bit of a um was because of the S cells, really. Yeah. Um they kind of com- yeah. they kind of confirmed the oh is that if you're happier and you're <laughs> And you're a Saiyan that has a really high S cell count, then you'll be able to turn Super Saiyan. Yeah, I don't just kind of mind because he hit it so soon. So yeah, but he was he was still a pretty great prodigy himself. Um, this that concept really the the one I stated about younger is really reminds me of Shaman King, because if anyone has ever read the manga of Shaman King or even well the anime doesn't really talk about this heavily at all, but um. What happens is that um kids have way more potential to unlock um than adults. And they they really state this really hard so many times. Like um like somebody's fault like let's say um I'm Yo Asakura, the main protagonist, and my father is pretty fucking strong, but he has a cap on his abilities because I'm not saying he has a cap cap cap. But he has a cap on his growth and how further he can go in uh in because of his potentials already unlocked and he reached the age of adulthood. Yeah. And because of that, you you it's like you're stunting your growth. As soon as you reach that age, bomb, it's over. You know what I'm saying? It's it's completely over. You can't really do anything crazy. And um and since that happens, there are those people are teaching, you know, oh. Let's teach my son this, or let me teach my son that. Well, they kind of did a bad job because he didn't teach him that much. But regardless, it's um their Furyoku levels become stronger and stronger and stronger. Yes, they're slow as hell, but they become stronger and stronger. Even when they get older, I'm not saying they become more capped, and yeah. other characters become more powerful than them, or or have the ability to become more powerful than them because they're children and they're susceptible for potential. And if they keep um, basically training ever since they were children, it's like, you know, a video game. Like, if the less time you have and you can't understand the concepts, you don't have the time of the day to play the video game all single day, then you're just not going to be as good. Most sometimes, sometimes, sometimes there's yeah. different occasions. But your son literally can play this game, you know, 20 hours. He has an easier um, chance of grasping the concept because his brain is open <laughs> and susceptible to almost anything and everything of the video game. Um, he gets the timing of every move, attack, or whatever. He practices that for a whole summer while you're at work. <laughs> and then yeah. suddenly he's beating your butt, and you're like, uh, how is he beating me? It's not because he's smarter than me. It's because he's understanding the game better than you. Yeah. And he's unlocking his potential in the game. And that's how it kind of was. I agree. Um, I agree. That's the... You're listening, you know, son. Kinda, like, You'll never beat me. No, I'm just <laughs> You'll never beat me in Call of Duty. <laughs> but like, uh, no, let's bit, play Halo. It's <laughs> so Gears? Never. <laughs> it's like, yeah. never. Nah, but if you literally sit, <laughs> sit him down and teach him how to play and then have him look at YouTube videos. Oh, yeah. That's dude, why, he, that's he why um, the kids are, even generally, kids are just awesome. Because oh, yeah. they can, since they could grab, if you could teach them in the right way, you can literally make them kind of OP. You know how babies are reading, some babies can read at two, <laughs> some babies can swim at like one, yeah. like his shit like that is kind of crazy. Yeah. It's like, oh, what's that shit? I didn't learn how to fucking swim until I was seven. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> kind of shit. Oh, yeah. It's, it's totally, all. totally. That's why everyone's yeah, playing Fortnite right now. No, I'm <laughs> he's playing Fortnite right now. He he's probably gonna be better at you in that game too. Oh, dude, I'm freaking awful at Fortnite. So, <laughs> so that's... like that's that's just you know that's yeah. one thing I really liked about um Hunter 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 X Hunter. Yeah, and Hunter X Hunter too. Like we were talking about earlier, it's not all about like power level because it's interesting because like everyone has a different ability, like uh. What's his face? Red eyes there. Uh, see if I can say his name right. Kupika? Yeah. Kupika or something like that? Uh, Kurpika? Kurpika? Yeah, his... Fuck, his name is hard to say. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're calling Red Eyes. Like, he has a... 
I like his like uh, chain ability there. Like his is really cool, and it worked really well against uh, the big muscle dude there. Sorry for. Do you remember his ability at all? <laughs> huh? The Cupid Cut, the red eyes. Yeah. Yeah, it's with the the he had the chain. Uh, was it was it a, was it a ring or whatever or something? So. I, I, I kind of explain it because I, I kind of remember this more vividly than most of everybody else's abilities. But like, um, so one season is nor when he without his red eyes, right? He literally has um, I think it's about two nan abilities or whatever, or yeah. you know, the category literally this. Um, you remember the the scale in Hunter Hunter where it was showing the nan ability was a circle yeah. or a hex hexagon and it was up and then down, right? Yeah. So literally, Kurapika, he literally had up. When he was normal, when he had his eye, when um his eyes were normal, but when he had his um red eyes activated, he actually has another set. He he can unlock some abilities that are down, and it becomes highly. And it, at that time, it becomes highly um. Was it? How can I say it? Highly, highly. What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. It's um, it's not usable. It's like they become very Same compatible way. with each other. So then he starts. He starts mixing the nan abilities all together, and the, and then they change because of his, because of his eyes. So and you know they only change because of his eyes because it's him and it's his ability and you know that's his persona and you know that's all that. But <clears throat> then as that happens, that's why he was overwhelming the guy the whole time, like yeah. fucking that guy up. Yeah, that was a, that was a was great fight. In. Yeah, on that revenge, yo. <laughs> Slowly working on it, which is a very interesting story because I like how. Because like I thought Killa was gonna be like a Sasuke in a way, but it doesn't. It's more Kupika is kind of like a Sasuke with his eyes and how the whole Torque took all the eyes from his family, and he's he's the last one, right? I think that's what they were saying. I'm trying to remember. It's been like yeah. two or three years since I watched it, so. <laughs> um, and I remember that. So like he was kind of a Sasuke character, but he's not. Like he's. Not even the second main character. He's like a side character in a way. I don't know. He's like part of the main group, but not. He's not there all the time. Um, yeah. Well, you have to think about this. He, where was he for like two arcs? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like he was gone for a while. You know. It's like. So he was not even in the stories. The stories. Yeah. Karma arc, so. so. But like, it's kind of cool because his whole thing is he wants the revenge. On the the Phantom Torque there, so and he wants his eyes back. <laughs> yeah. he wants like, give me my eyes. So that's it's very cool. I like his story, and then uh, what's his face? Suitcase Man, Lee, was it? Starts with an L. Guy that just wants to get rich. <laughs> so, um, but I, like his is I like his power. I like uh, we, you finally get to see it at the end there. What he can do. Um, where he punches uh Gon's dad there, and the oh, because Leroy, of Gon's yeah. dad didn't want to go see Gon yeah. when he was pretty much <clears> near <throat> death. He's experience. like, your son's waiting for you. Yeah, he's like, I'm doing hunter things, bro. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> which is interesting. His dad is a very interesting man, which I I love the like I said. I hope this story keeps going. So especially uh, the ending there. Where him and his dad finally meet. So, yeah, I don't know. I like. I, I really want to see more. That's uh, big on the wish list here. <laughs> I think it's a very unique uh, story so far and very enjoyable. Oh, the smoke guy is pretty cool too. I, I like him. And then uh, who was it? The lantern dude. Lantern um, dude. I love the smoke From guy. The yeah. When they were training Gon and Killa, they they separated them or whatever. Oh, um, him? yeah, he's cute. I like him. Yeah, uh, he's like I can make clones of myself. Shout out clone jutsu, bitch. Yeah, that's, that's what I can he do. Was like, so, ah, I make clones. Oh man, I love uh, Killa's uh, other form too, uh, the lightning form. When he had to go up against the red demon horse dude, or whatever, the, in the karma arc there. Yeah. When he only uses it for like what? I don't know if it was even a minute, but he just went in there and started just punching the crap out of him and it kinda of got out. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm out. <laughs> it's like, I'm faster than you, bitch. I can run. Run. <laughs> he's like, he's like, all right. Oh, that was that was pretty funny. You got them all mad. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like the the karma arc was just very interesting because it was such a it was such an under arc. huh Kamira arc. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna call it karma arc. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, it was just interesting because like they were so underpowered, and it and it was interesting how everything played out, especially uh um. Killa's grandpa and the old man there where he used uh I love the scene where uh what was it? It was like rain and meteors or something like that. What the hell was it? The where they first attacked the base to go in. Ah bitch! <laughs> what the, oh, I can't remember what it was. Fucking... Something dragon, but he used it along with Kilo's grandpa. Yeah, yeah, and he, he just started raining down and they were pretty much going in. That was pretty cool. I like that scene a lot. Um, I, I think know. it was dragon, dragon's dive or some shit like that. Dragon's head. I don't know. Yeah, it's some dragon. So he's um, like, he's like, Peter was like, yeah, and then, then he goes like, bitch, get the fuck out of my way. He's like, <laughs> uh, yeah, very, very, very cool. Um. What else uh, can we say? I could, I could say that the openings and endings songs are fantastic. Um, <laughs> I love the, especially the first one. Well, the, the there's only one opening. So there's, there's only like one song, just different different parts of the song. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> yeah, did they ever change it? No, they, no, they did not. <laughs> the ending ones the, change. The endings, yeah, the endings change. The opening one ever changed though? I don't remember. I don't think so. The opening never changed. No, yeah. See, that's how long it's been. <laughs> I'm like trying to think. Um, I guess yeah. I'm, we got to rewatch the series. Oh, I do. I am going to. I'm buying it right now. I'm buying the, the dub version. I'm going to rewatch it when it's all finished in dub. Um, just because I watched it all in sub. So I, I like to watch it in dub. See how that is. Which I've watched like the first because I was really curious who was going to be the voice actors in Hunter x Hunter, which I, I like them so far. Um, Gone is played by uh oh is it the I think it's the, it's the girl that plays I think the kill kill girl I can't remember her name right now. That movie but, is called Dragon's Knife, by the way. Okay. But, but anyways, the dub seems pretty good. I, I haven't seen everyone's voice yet, but I enjoyed what I seen so far. I like watched the first episode because it's just curious who was playing who for voices. Um. Uh, but yeah, I, pl- I plan on rewatching it here. I think they're pretty close to finishing it in dub. I think they're still playing on Tanami, right? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't watch it. Oh, okay, Tanami you don't watch it. Okay. I think it's still playing on Tanami. <laughs> I don't know how far they are though. So I think there's four seasons right now that you can buy. So they gotta be pretty close. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I, like I said, I, I do plan on rewatching it because it is one of my favorite shows for sure. Oh, um, but yeah, anything else that we, did we miss? Hmm. Any other Hunter x Hunter? <clears throat> For the unique fighting background but, music? But freaking, I gotta say this. <clears throat> if Gon can unlock his potential by fucking himself up, I want to see if Kilo will do the same. Yeah, that's true. But he probably, I don't know. I don't think he's that stupid. Unless he did it for somebody. Hmm. I don't know. And what are the repercussions for Gun unlocking his potential? Well, I, I only call it unlocking his potential, but I mean, like, literally him being in that state where he's super grown and then he fucking smashed P2. <laughs> and then he fucking felt the repercussions and this guy was shriveled up like fucking SpongeBob. Yeah. <laughs> without water. Uh, <laughs> that's what I mean by that whole situation. Well, but. the one thing that we didn't talk about is uh, let me see if I say his name right. Clown Man, there is Zoko, right? Is that how you say his name? I think so. Okay, Zoko there, and what's his face? He wants to fight the leader of the the Torque there, kind of Torque. I think they. I think during the end of the series, they were kind of they're they're there, but we never got to see the fight. Like 
What? They finally meet Soka each other. Soka versus Cruello? Yeah. Uh, I they never showed it. the fight, but it's been, like, throughout the whole series, it's been, like, mentioned that he wants to fight him and stuff. And I thought at the end of the series... The whole time. I thought at the end of the series, he, like, trapped him where he could fight him or something like that. Because that's the whole plan, why he joined the Torque. No, uh, yeah, but remember, um, Krolo's right now, and I think in, uh, he's somewhere else right now. I can't tell. I forgot. I'm trying to. It's been so. We need to. I need to rewatch it. But anyways, I got. I got so many animes though that were going on. <laughs> so <sighs> it's hard. You got to rewatch up. it and you got to read it because you you ain't getting nowhere with the anime. Yeah, no, I know. I think about <laughs> reading it. It's just like no game, no life. But I've been hearing rumors that we're gonna get us. Uh, second season for no game no life so yeah that we, the the worst thing the funny thing is about no games no life we're always constantly getting news about it yeah always getting like ovas we're always getting Got the you know movie. i haven't watched the movie yet but i want to yeah so that that's that's good because that's showing that they're continuing with projects of the anime yeah. so cool. even live action movies fucking even though they're ter- some a lot of them are terrible 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 <laughs> that's something at least to like they're okay oh we're investing into a franchise again or into a show but hunter hunter is like hunter x hunter is just like yeah we just got the manga and uh we just came out with the phone game and um yeah that's pretty much it we got <laughs> not too much news not too, not much, too much news which sucks man it's, <laughs> such a, it's such a great series too yeah it is it's really good um. Yeah, I, I don't know. that's the one like bummer thing about Hunter X Hunter, but I still think it's well worth watching though. Like you'll, like I always recommend it to people to watch it. Yeah, they they should definitely watch it. Man, though, it's it's still interesting. I mean, it, it's still like some aspects of it. I I was having a conversation with one of my friends. He was like. Oh, a lot of the characters are similar to Yu Yu Hakusho. I'm like, I don't know, man. To be honest <laughs> with that. you, a lot of people are a lot more different. They have like certain elements, like you know, oh, I'm happy, you know, kind of thing. Like that's the happy character. But like other than that, like, like a lot of a lot of the characters just were. Like I'll give you an example. Um, one of my friends said like Kurpika's like, um, Kurpika's just like Kurama, and I'm like. Nah, not no, at all. Not no, even close. Yeah. Not even close. I was like, what? I was no. like, that's not even close, dude. I no, was like, dude, like Karpika is literally looking for revenge. <laughs> and then yeah. he's trying to accomplish it. Karama's just like literally a cool and I'm talking about Yu Yu Hagi show, guys. Oh um, yeah. Karama's literally a cool dude. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I I get like the only thing I could see is that. Plus, he's group, got like the whole man. like beauty like thing, right? Yeah, he has the cool. Like, he, he kind of it's not a cool thing. He's just like the. Was it the the <laughs> handsome boy or something you want to call an anime? I don't know what you want to call, him, but yeah, I would guess because he's probably the best looking nigga out of all of them. Yeah, so. <laughs> call him but the handsome. Like, I don't know what they. Yeah, he's a. It's an anime. Cool, so. Yeah, so like, so that's how he's the pretty boy of the group. Yeah, there you go. Basically. Pretty boy is probably yeah the best. He's pretty. He's the pretty boy. Yeah, but. Kurpika's like it's not it's not like there's no pretty boy in their their group. That's the funny thing. It doesn't feel like there is. Kurpika, yeah. and then Karama's motivations is is completely different. Mm-hmm. He's tr- sometimes he's trying to um uh, yes he likes his friends but he also has di- also different motives. He's pretty simple to be honest. Karama's not too complicated. Yeah, he's like oh I want to do this from to save my friends and I'm also I have crimes that I committed in the past and I'm repenting for them. And he doesn't really state that, oh, I'm repenting for my crimes. He go the more the narrative mostly for him is my friends are in danger. I would like to help them because they helped me in the past with certain situations I had in yeah. saving my mother. And that's all he needs. Shit. If someone may save my mom, you know, I I pretty much be almost in debt to him too. Yeah. And probably be friends. <laughs> but um and we just kept having these conversations, and we had another one like uh, Kurobara's like Lero. I'm like, like Kurobara's completely dumb though. <laughs> it's like Kurobara's yeah, dumb. Yeah, he's he's actually... like Kurobara's like, like he's he's 
he's so slow. He's yeah, like, he's like really slow. Like, he's really slow. And he and he constantly the funny thing is by him he, narratively, like everything he does is almost slow. But he has like an OP somewhat of an OP ability in a sense. Yeah. Later on in the arcs. We'll, I'm not trying to spoil anything. That's why I literally keep it everything else. But yeah. But like he's just it's just like it's he's slow, so and I just like dude, I literally don't see the comparison. Gone is not like Yusuke at all. Kilua is not like like you could try to fight for Kilua and he ain't. But they don't even use the same abilities. Their their paths are completely different. Yeah, that's true, like yeah. it's like there's there's almost nothing to compare. Yeah. Um, like Kilo has family that hates him. Well, that doesn't hate him. That wants him to do something. He has no family. <laughs> it's just like uh, I don't, I don't really yeah. see that one. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't see the comparisons. A lot of people I compare see... uh, Naruto and Hunter X Hunter because like like arc wise and stuff like that i've heard that a lot just reading on the internet there ah naruto like, but then the people are like well hunter x hunter was Not- before naruto like manga wise oh yeah and yeah that that is true but so because the, the whole thing came know. up I, with I, the exams I, 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 I think their writing styles are a little different yeah a i'm just saying bit, off the but... internet i just is just what i've read like i just see a lot of debates with hunter x hunter and naruto like the whole thing with uh, Kubica is like kind of like Sasuke's kind of story in a way. Yeah, Where Sasuke's whole family. And then Kubica you know, yeah, gets his goal. Yeah. He follows. He find. He um. If you, you know, everyone who watches the show, he as soon as the end of the the season or the series, the anime, you see him with all his eyes, and it's just like, okay, what does he do then? Like, <laughs> it's like, what else? Like, he's he's just gonna. He got all his eyes. Yeah. Or most of them, I hope. So um, I, I kind of see like some similarities, but I don't know. Still, yeah, it's it's a it's a close. It's like closer, the hunter exam and that. then the the Naruto the ninja exam and stuff. The, so. the, yeah, you know. But but as soon as you get the hunter exam, you're just like you're literally could just do whatever fuck you are as a hunter. Yeah. And Naruto is like, okay, you have a tuning exam, and you only be you only do that to become a tuning, and now you have to do joint. Now you have to do amazing things to get to the Johnny rank and or yeah. over time you have to be distinguished into that rank and it's just it's a lot of bullshit you gotta deal with yeah and then like, they, they kind of just go two different complete directions you know yeah like what i what i do say that they're similar and they're in similar later in the arc and this is primarily in the chimera arc is that they actually well not in chimera arc exactly i can't say that for sure but and some of the other arcs, they they get real psychological with the way they're thinking. Mm-hmm. So I was, like Naruto is a little bit more psychological in the meaning, but not like Hunter and Hunter dove into that, but they dove in it with Kilua and the mind of Gon when he was in the Chimera arc. Yeah, on the "you killed my friend" kind of thing, which it's pretty interesting. Um, that was. That that's that's a little bit of similarity, but that wasn't there the whole. That wasn't really driven the whole way. Is like how Naruto was, it, was was like the main oh, thing. If you're, yeah, it was a was it a main thing, but it was just a thing that came up. Because, not all. I'm not saying it, it didn't come up. I'm just trying to say it didn't come as hard as Naruto. So how would you feel if this this this? And how would you feel if this this that? And then you know it's, it was more like. Oh, uh, they're talking to themselves subconsciously. Like you're not talking to themselves subconsciously, you're just talking to themselves in general yeah. about the matter. And that was mostly just like that was like Gon's whole part in that that arc. There was with yeah. uh, Kite and uh, Peter there. Yeah, that that was it. Yeah, he and then wasn't. some parts would come on with Kilua with his after he left his dad and you know stuff like that. And then um, you know, Gon Kilua and you know, Gon and Green Island and. You know, Kilo at a meeting, like, like gone makes him better kind of thing, and mm-hmm. as a better person, he enjoys being with him and stuff like that. Yeah, and no, they're kids true. at the end of the day; they're like children, children. Yeah, they're like you just like to have fun. Yeah, that's, that's why it's dangerous pretty interesting. fun. <laughs> so, um, but anyways, yeah, that's pretty much where we're almost to our hour mark. So, I don't. Do you have any more? Closing statements. I have closing a statement. closing, closing statement. statement. Don't compare freaking Hunter Hunter to freaking the Yu Hager show. Please don't compare freaking. <laughs> please don't do that. Yeah. Please don't do that. It's just, it just doesn't. It doesn't. 
doesn't no, work. I, I just don't see work. it. I don't see it really. At all. I don't see it like, like, and I I like the I like the fact that it's not like that because it's just like man, yeah, like why can't you just enjoy these characters for the characters? Stop trying to trying to connect the dots with with characters across the series. Yes, they're gonna have similarities, but yeah, yeah. but they don't have that. Like Yusuke is nothing like Gon. Yeah, I was, just, like, I was just gonna say that. I was like. Yusuke is like Yusuke. a stubborn man. Like he's Yusuke is almost like nobody I've ever really seen. To yeah, be he's honest. Like <laughs> stubborn in a way. It's and... like <laughs> it's like he wants the. He's like, I don't care if the world burns down. As long as my friends, and family are okay, then we're fucking good. <laughs> it's like yeah, yeah. if there's anything else, like he even said that to Sinsui. <laughs> like mid fight when they're but when they're blowing shit up all over the place. He's like, I don't give about the world, all that bullshit right now. I'm just here to kick your fucking ass. And you're like, what? Really? That's your motivation? Yeah, that's my yeah. fucking motivation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is it? And the way he, the way he comes off, it's like, how can I say? It's like a bully. It's yeah, he's someone yeah, like way, a yeah. bully. Yeah, yeah. In a way, he's like a bully, but he's not. He's not okay. He's literally that friend. Okay, I I can literally say this. He's probably that friend or that big brother. I'd be like, I'll, I'll protect the shit out of you. But, like, if you do some dumb shit, I'm but not going to save your ass every time. <laughs> <laughs> like... yeah, and then no, he totally enjoys agree. fighting. Yeah, and then he's like, but, you know, Yu Yu Hakusho gets deeper along, and I'm going to try to spoil it for people, but it gets deeper along um, for Yusuke, in a sense. So. Yeah, but, like, and Gon's, it, it, like, happy-go-lucky. Like, Yeah, happy, Gon's happy-go-lucky. Freaking Yusuke was a delinquent, literally. Yeah. Fucking shit up, fighting people, doing, like, yes, he has a moral, he somewhat has a moral code, but, like, he's still doing delinquent things, and Gon is like, eh. He's like, he does, the Gon is like a carefree kid who does shit that is, well, there's no exact rules, as we know, in the world. There, basically, everything is hands up. And yeah, you Haga show, you know, there's thing, there's still like a comparison to human society in our world. So I'll show you fucking like, oh, you can go like you keep hit a kid, shit like that, you fucking die, or, you know, you go to jail, all that bullshit. But uh, yeah, don't compare them, please. Don't don't win this. They're they're not the same. They're just not. <laughs> they're just not. Compare something like Naruto to Boruto, please. Yeah, <laughs> it's like Boruto. <laughs> I'm scared. He's like Boruto. Yeah, <laughs> so do that instead. Don't do it. It's just like Dragon Ball work. Z. It's because Goku Pretty and Gon, they're all happy go lucky. No, I'm scared. <laughs> it's That's like Gon, happy go lucky. Vegeta's like, no, he's not like Kilo. <laughs> it's no, like, like what? It don't, it don't work. It just like it. It just doesn't work. Oh, okay. And we still All haven't right. seen Gon grown up. You can say Kid Goku, yeah, but you can't really say you can't really say Gon when is like Goku when he gets older because he never Goku okay. he's still different. True, and he's still different than his past self, his Kid Goku self. So. Oh, it is yeah. what it is. Well, guys, I really enjoyed this podcast. This shit was hilarious. <laughs> um, and uh, thank you for tuning in. Yeah, you know, for sure. I really for sure. appreciate it. Um, See you next week. Yeah, next week. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys, if you guys have not watched Hunter x Hunter, you should. I mean, I hope you didn't listen to this podcast if you haven't watched it. <laughs> or, I mean, if, if you, you you can listen to this, but hopefully this will make you want to go watch it because it's really good. Um, but yeah, I'm Oldish22. Uh, you can find me all in the, the internet there as Oldish22. Um, please uh, rate the podcast. I'd really appreciate it. We would really appreciate it. Um... <laughs> But yeah, just tell your friends about us, whatever. We love talking to anime with you guys. And that's the whole point of doing this, is talk with you guys. And we like talking anime, so hope you guys enjoy. Um, but yeah, we're going to be ending this. So how about you, Pack-A-Punch? Where can we find you on the internet? In the internet, literally just type in Pack-A-Punch TV, YouTube, via or Instagram, or Twitter. Yeah. Um, I'm excited. And if you want to talk to me, just DM me. I know, um, what's it called? What's the thing called? Oh, um, Twitter, Instagram, Twitter, or any of Twitter, those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I'm so excited. Oh. So, 
Can't I can't wait for Black Clover new season. I mean, not new season, new episode. It's I know. I the salute was telling me about it, and I'm like, well, maybe I should catch up. I'm on episode 17, so I got a ways to go. What? It's gonna be amazing. Like literally, I everybody it week even, by week. I was like, Studio Peria just tweeted out the fucking panel I for the next see. episode. I, I was like, dude. Yet, so I'm like, I'm I was like, dude. I was like, oh my god. They so. didn't even put like something big, but well. Kind of big, but it's like what? No homo. Forgot to say that. <laughs> All right, guys, I really appreciate you guys watching this. Watch it, Taco Town. Yeah. All uh, right, guys, hope- we out. This is the Taco Town. Wow. Right, Pack Punch. All right, we are out, and I'll see you guys uh, next week. <laughs>